Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidina Rasulillah, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man wala wa attaba'a huda wa ba'd. Fa hadithuna mawsoolun, ayyuh al-ikhwa, hawla tathbeet al-iman fi muajahat al-shubuhat. Kunna qad badaana min talat ayyam, in min a'zam al-adilla ala ithbaat al-iman billah azza wa jal, huwa dalil al-fitra. Wa anna hathih al-fitra tazhar, في المبادئ العقلية والأخلاقية المركوزة في عقل الطفل ثاني شيء ذكرنا إن هذه الفطرة تظهر في عدم قبولنا للوازم الإلحاد وما يترتب عليه من نقد العقل ونقد الأخلاق الأمر الثالث إن هذه الفطرة تظهر أيضا في آية الله عز وجل التي تركها في الخلق وضربنا مثال بالحمض النووي أو الـ DNA أمس بعض غير المسلمين بيسمها التوقيع الإلهي كأنه دليل يلفت الأنظار إلى وجود من وضع المعلومة اللي بناء عليها تم الخلق بشكل معين اليوم نختم مسألة الفطرة ونقول إن الفطرة تظهر عند كثير من الناس وقت الأزمات ممكن يظل منكر لله طوال حياته لكن يقع في أزمة كبيرة شديدة وخوف عظيم تلاقي الفطرة بتاعته اتحركت والإمام جعفر الصادق كان له موقف مع أحد الزنادقة الذي أنكر وجود الله تعالى فقال له ما حرفتك؟ قال التجارة قال هل ركبت البحر؟ قال نعم قال هل رأيت أهواله؟ قال نعم هاجت في بعض الأيام رياح هائلة فكسرت السفن وغرقت الملاحين وتعلقت أنا ببعض الألواح ثم ذهب ذلك اللوح عني فوجدت نفسي في طلاطم الأمواج حتى اندفعت إلى الساحل قال له طيب لما فقدت الألواح هل يئست من النجاة يعني هل سلمت نفسك للهلاك أم كنت ترجو النجاة مع انقطاع الأسباب قال بل كنت أرجو النجاة قال ممن ترجوها قال فسكت الرجل فقال له جعفر إن إلهك هو الذي كان في بالك وإلهك هو الذي نجاك وهذا تصديق هذا من كتاب الله تعالى قوله تعالى في سورة لقمان وإذا غشيهم موج كالظلل دعوا الله مخلصين له الدين فلما نجاهم إلى البر فمنهم مقتصد وما يجحد بآيات الله إلا كل ختار كفور إحنا بنقول هذا على إنه إيه آية من الآيات التي تدل على وجود الفطرة في القلب وبنقول هذا ينطبق على كثير من الناس على معظم الناس لأن في ناس بتعاند مع نفسها في ناس بتعاند مع نفسها ولذلك احنا قلنا هذا الدليل خاصة ينطبق على كثير من الناس عشان اللي بيعاند نفسه ما يدخلش فيه نسأل الله تعالى أن يهدينا جميعا سواء السبيل اللهم أمين uh, the khatra for this morning is still a continuation of our discussion on strengthening faith in face of the doubts. And we said belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is easily uh, confirmed in our own fitrah. Allah created us in a way that makes believing in Him easy, not just easy, necessary. And we said this is the idea of fitra, that we are naturally implanted with uh, uh, the tendency and the readiness to believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We gave three khatiras about this, how fitra shows, and how this, uh, the idea that we're hardwired to believe is evidenced. It's evidenced uh, when you uh, notice the logical and moral foundations that any child would have. And, we, and, and these foundations would make it easy for him to accept the uh, fundamentals of the faith. And we explain this in one khatira. The second, we said our fitra shows 
when anyone would reject the consequences of atheism. And we explained that also in another khatra. And yesterday we talked about the signature in the cell, the divine signature in the cell. And this is actually the title of one of the books in, in, that discusses uh, uh, some signs of the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in biology. So the signature in the cell, the cell is made of uh, uh, some information based on which uh, we become who we are. In terms of everything, how we look, the gender, everything. So everything goes back to information. Uh, so we cannot entertain the thought that this information comes from nowhere because it is complicated and sophisticated as we explained in the last khatra. Today we'll finish with one more uh, um, sign that show where our fitra shows. And this sign is also referred to in the Quran. Basically, during uh, hard times or times of extreme stress or fear, our real fitra and, and belief in Allah could easily show. Uh, Imam Ja'far al-Sadiq was approached by a man who denies Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he asked him about uh, any argument for the existence of God without going into theological and philosophical discussions. Just keep it as simple as you could. He said, what is your job? What is your profession? He said, I am a businessman. He asked him, have you ever traveled by sea? He said, yes. Have you ever experienced kind of uh, huge tidal waves? He said, yes. And also, I witnessed fierce winds as well. And many people were drowning around me. And he said, what happened to you? He said, I was uh, hanging on a piece of wood. And then suddenly I lost it. He said, at that moment, were you giving up, surrendering to death? Or you were still wishing to be saved? He said, I had a strong wish to be saved. He said, by whom? Because now all of the means of... Uh, uh, of being saved are lost. So whom were you thinking about for to be saved from this critical situation? The man remained silent and Ja'far added, that was the one who had the higher power that you had in mind when you were in the extreme situation. As I said in Arabi, this incident that shows our fitrah applies to many people. Still, you can find few people who would deny it. Uh, even there is uh, a, a very famous uh, statement in English that captures this. No atheists in foxholes. There are no atheists in foxholes. And, and this uh, statement represents this argument that in times of extreme stress and fear, your real faith in Allah that is naturally implanted in you, finally is uncovered. And this applies to many people. The fact that some people may deny this does not mean that this argument is not valid because it applies uh, to many people. And actually the Quran refers to this, uh, but the Quran was talking about some people who associated partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So they still have an understanding that there is a higher power but they were associating partners with Allah. But the Quran says when they are in extreme fear and stress, they abandon their, uh, their paganism. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Luqman, وَإِذَا غَشِيَهُمْ مَوْجٌ كَالظُّلَلْ دَعَوُ اللَّهَ مُخْلِصِينَ لَهُ الدِّينَ As soon as they are overwhelmed by waves like mountains, they cry out to Allah alone in sincere devotion. But when he delivers them safely to shore, only some become relatively uh, grateful. And none rejects our signs, the signs of Allah, except those who are deceitful and ungrateful.
So in these four khatiras I gave, it was an attempt to explain what fitra means. And believe, even though Allah is, uh, is ghaib, unseen, and Allah is al-batin, he's also a zahir Allah is al-batin and a zahir Yes, Allah is invisible, but there is another attribute that says Allah is visible. So visible in what sense? In the sense that he left many signs in you and around you that necessarily point to him. And I'm using every word carefully that necessarily point to him. Wallahu ta'ala a'la wa a'lam wa jazakumullahu khairan ajma'in.